Howdy, y'all. Oh, it's great to be here. I... Uh, this is a bit of an experiment for me. I have never done a stream this late. Um, because I have kind of explained that I work in a school and I usually am getting up pretty early, so... Usually I like to stream a little bit earlier in the evening, but... We're on summer break now, so I thought I'd try doing one a little bit later. See who, uh, see who wanted to tune in for this one. Um, but here, oh yes, Monday we've usually been doing Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, don't worry, Yu-Gi-Oh will return. I just figured doing it late at night here again, I wanted to go with the tried and true Emerald. We'll see. We'll see. But here, um, I've actually left a slot in my party uh, because we are going to go back and fight some trainers tonight. I want to take this egg and show you all what is in this egg. I kind of um, explained it a little bit last episode. Ha -ha! Lovely. Um, and that is actually going to hatch into the Pokemon Why Not, um, which is the pre evolved form of. Uh, Wobbuffet. All right. So now we, let's get a little team recap. We've got Blaine, the Swablu, rocking some pretty sad attacks. <laughs> We've got D Guzzle, the Torkoal, got that new body slam. We've got Piccolo, the Grovile. He's about to get a new move. Uh, we've got Ziggy, the Zigzagoon, uh, absolute celebrity around these parts. And we've got Ron, the Iran, rounding out the squad. Um, so here, I forget what this guy says. Oh, I'd like to get to Mauville, but if I went down those ledges, it'd be no easy matter to get back. So... I mean, all we gotta do is ride the cable car back up again. It's not a huge deal. So we're gonna hop down here, and we're gonna grab this nugget. Um, always love that free nugget sitting right there. All right. But we are actually going to run all the way down. We still can't get into the desert yet. Um, we're getting close to being able to explore that area, but not quite yet. Um... So, oh, also happy Memorial Day. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube later, uh, I recorded this on Memorial Day. <laughs> um, it was a good day. We went to my parents' house, which was lovely. They had a little cookout. Oh, what is the best way? I'll go down this way. Um, it was great. Uh, we can actually hop here on Cycling Road. Um, and we can fight some of the trainers here. There's not a ton. Uh, but, uh, this will probably be a time for Guzzle to shine. Um, because a lot of the trainers here on Cycling Road have... Um, Magnemites. They all kind of seem to have electric Pokemon. I grew my hair out just for the breeze to go through it. So yeah, this is Cycling Road in this game. It's kind of above that route where we were. Um... It's pretty delightful. Um, at the end of the road. Oh, hey, hey, JJ, what's up? Thank you. Thanks for being here. Um, wow, Torkoal is so slow. <laughs> I've said it a million times, but Torkoal is so slow. Um, but this will be nice. This will give Torkoal some easy one shots. Maybe get a level or two here. Um, uh, yes, I remember. I always remember her. Guzzle! Yes, that's right. You named Guzzle, JJ. Um, but uh, when you get to the end of Cycling Road, there's kind of like a mini game in this game where, uh, of course, um, there's kind of like a mini game in this game where there will be an NPC at the end of the road. And uh, what you want to... What the game wants you to do is to go through Cycling Road on a mock bike, um, hitting the wall as few times as possible. So it's kind of like supposed to test your skill with the mock bike. And kind of riding the mock bike like accurately is like harder than it looks. <laughs> um, because it goes so fast, you don't really have great control over it. That's kind of like its thing. Um, and there are some other like movement puzzles that we'll encounter with the mock bike. Uh, like I showed you guys the mud slides, but um, there'll be a few other things that we can see. We'll actually see one of those pretty soon. 
But um, I only usually ever come down Cycling Road like once. I don't usually do it a bunch of times. Um, <laughs> so the first time I always come down here, I'm always just like fighting trainers. And <laughs> the dude is just like, wow, you are terrible at the mock bike. <laughs> And we will encounter that once we get to the end. Do, 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 do. Uh, but yes, I hope you all had a wonderful... <laughs> yes. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful Memorial Day. Oh, let's see. I'm very, very, very excited to not go to work tomorrow. I actually like what this guy says. Oh, hey, you got that bike from Rydell. Oh, it's glaringly obvious. It says right on your bike. Rydell, 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 Rydell. He says it so many times. The name's everywhere. Let's see. Ah, barbecue with some family. That sounds great, JJ. Um, did the very same. Um, oh, what was I going to say? I do not remember. But, very excited to not have school tomorrow. I am actually, tomorrow I am going to an Indiana Fever basketball game. Um, which is really exciting. If you're watching this later, that will probably mean nothing to you. The game's probably over. <laughs> but uh, it'll be really fun. I am excited for us to see Caitlin Clark. Um, and they're playing the Sparks, and I know Sabrina Brink. Sabrina Brink? Pretty sure. Um, is on that team. Um, and they're kind of like a lot of new star rookies entering the WNBA this year. It's kind of like a big deal. Um, let's see. Blaine, Cameron Brink, not Sabrina Brink. I'm thinking of Sabrina Carpenter. We were just listening to one of her songs. <laughs> Thank you, JJ. <laughs> um, oh, this Voltorb is at level six. It's very odd. Um, but yeah, we're seeing that tomorrow. It's really, really great. Um, we don't live... <laughs> I am working late because I'm a singer. Oh my gosh. It's so true. I literally am working later than I usually do. I'm also warm. I don't know why. Huh, okay. Ba -ba -da -da -ba -da 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 -da. So yeah, we got a couple more trainers here. I think just one more guy. Um, yes, yeah, so like I said, all these people got Magnemites and Voltorbs and whatnot. Um, this one's just at level six. If we encounter another Voltorb, I think I might get um, Swablu out here just because um, I don't think they have any electric moves this early in the game. At least the trainer's ones. I know uh, Watson's new, whatchamacallit, Shockwave. Or Spark, they might even have Spark. Do, 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 do. Oh, level six, we got this. Got this in the bag. Magnemite will be no good for our boy Blaine, however. And I don't know, maybe it was a little foolish of me to save these trainers. I'm always kind of like anal about it. <laughs> um, ah, I live that. I know Magnemite can have the ability Sturdy, which makes it survive like one hit KO attacks or moves that would knock it out um, with one HP. Um, but I think that was like two HP. Okay, so here we're getting to the guy at the end and he goes, number of collisions, six times, total time, one plus minute. My word, your cycling skills border on terrifying. Most certainly you need much more practice riding. That hurts my feelings. But yeah, that's the guy we were talking about. <laughs> we're always very bad at the mock bike mini game on Cycling Road. Let's see. I know he really does hate me. He really needs to take a chill pill. All right, so we can go into the trick house, but I'll probably save that. I'm gonna get off the mock bike. Uh, did we fight these two? Yes, we did. Haha, yes, I knew we still had a few trainers on this route. 
Um, I believe this guy has a Skitty, if I'm not mistaken. He does indeed. Skitty is a very cute Pokemon. Oh, I was going to put um, my boy Blaine back in front. We have my gal Guzzle. There we go. That is a weak two-hit double slap. This body slam should one-shot, I think. Yeah. There we go. I am excited to get back into the gym because um, I really enjoy the fire gym in this game. Let's see, we have a fisherman. What does this guy say? If you cross the sea from here, it'll be a shortcut to Oldale Town. Oh yeah, this is actually, if we cross this little area, that's actually where we do our first rival fight in this game. Oh, I thought there was a hidden item. There is not. Um, but yeah, I just kind of love that little, uh, uh, spot of water right there, um, because it really connects you to the beginning of the game. I feel like, um, this region, the Hoenn region, really does a nice job of, um, kind of, like, connecting you back to areas where you've been in the game, um, because, like, Rust Turf Tunnel does that, too. That is the tunnel where we used Rock Smash to reunite the lovers. Um, oh my gosh, that is two misses in a row with Fury Attack. Okay, that is insane. <laughs> that was making me quite angry. Uh, <laughs> fight my three level five Magikarp. <laughs> that is so true. Oh my gosh. I mean, I guess in his defense, he does have this one level 15. That is three out of four misses on... Uh, Fury attack. That is insane. How you doing, by the way, Tech? Thanks for being here. Um, thank you for joining us. We're just kind of speeding through this one. Um, so right now, we're kind of prepping for the Lava Ridge Gym. We just went down Cycling Road. We got a terrible score on the Mock Bike minigame. Uh, let's see. Let's get Ron in the mix, because him and Torkoal are actually in the same um, area level-wise. Literally the same level. Oh, I love these double battles. They're just so delightful. Uh, but yes, like I was saying, um, Rust Turf Tunnel, where you use Rock Smash and the lovers are reunited, that connects back to um, Rustboro City, where... We fought Roxanne. Um, oh, the sixth level five Magikarp from Gen 1. <laughs> yes, I do recall. Um, that is very annoying. Because it's really just a matter of time. Because level five Magikarps can't do anything. How was your day, Tech? Good? I'll just target them both. Charge is an interesting move. I think in other games it raises the Pokemon's special defense if they use it. Um, I think when they realize when it kind of came out in this game, they're like, this isn't a very good move. <laughs> oh, come on. That's very annoying. Okay, yeah, we good. We good. A quick peck. We're done. We're done with them. We're done with them. Oh, there is actually a really cute little place that we're going to get into. Um, so we should grab this. PP up. That's very nice. A PowerPoint up, of course. <laughs> it is not a PP up. Oh, I know. There's an item over here. Guard spec. Lovely. Okay, so here we have the cherry berries. This heals paralysis, I'm pretty positive. It's actually, it actually would have been really helpful against Watson earlier. Here are Lepa berries. Lepa berries are really good because they heal your power points. I was just talking about power point up. The Lepa berries heal your power points, and why that's important is because power point um, restoring items like ethers or elixirs are limited in this game, like you can't buy them. But Lepa Berries you can plant forever. So that's really useful. 
<laughs> Gotta get that PP up. <laughs> oh, wow. That's what she said. That is what she said. Believe me. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to get on the bike. So now we're all the way back to Slateport City. I'll hop into the Pokemon Center while we're thinking about it. Um, doo -doo. Oh my gosh. Ooh, the no berry glitch. I don't think I even know what the no berry glitch is. Um, I mean, being able to plant them is lovely. Um, but yeah, what's the no berry glitch tech? So here we're going back to this delightful little beach. I remember these uh, these two little guys hiding under their umbrella, and we're finally gonna see what they're all about. Uh, full heal, lovely item. Oh, and they're just little kids on the beach. Do 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 do. What they call tubers? Lola and Chandler. Wow. Oh yeah, here's a zoo reel. Oh, berries just won't grow as if your save battery is dead. Oh, interesting. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen because I would really much, I would very much like to <laughs> plant some berries at some point. Um, but yes, here is a Zuril. It is the baby form, so like the pre evolved form of Meryl. And it was added as a Gen 2, not Gen 2, it was added as a Gen 3 Pokemon. It is not in Gold, Silver, and Crystal, which is very interesting. Another interesting thing is that it's just a, um, it's just a normal type. It's not a water type like Meryl and Azumarill, um, which I thought was a very interesting choice. It does kind of make sense to give Azumarill or to give Meryl a baby Pokemon because Meryl's already cute. Let's just make a cuter one, baby. <laughs> let's just do it. Uh, let's see. Both of these should be one shots. Yeah, because backtracking here to Pokemon that are at level 12 are not entirely useful for, for us right now. Um, yeah, like I said, maybe I made a little bit of an error, but it's okay. It's okay. Ooh, the Gen 5 sprite is disturbing of Azumarill. I, I don't know if I've seen it. Maybe it is. <laughs> um, ah, Bubble. Very weak attack, especially not same type attack bonus like I've just described with Azumarill. There we go. Yeah, we're speeding up a little bit through some of these battles. <laughs> oh, it's crying. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> that is sad. Alrighty. So yeah, we've got a couple more double battles here on the beach. We got these two peeps. Erp battle with me. It's like he was just drinking a soda pop. Um, and here, of course, is our friend Meryl from Generation 2. Even though, um, like we spoke about last episode, um... Meryl is just not a Pokemon that you see... Soda Pop, I don't know. Um, it's just not a Pokemon that you see in Gold, Silver, and Crystal. I don't even... I don't know how many trainers have a Meryl. Like, one, maybe? Um, in Generation 2? Ugh. Ron is annoying me. Oh my gosh, the double Supersonic... That is horrific. Oh my gosh. Guys. 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 There we go. At least Blaine at least Blaine can keep his focus. There we go, Ron. Awesome. Love to see it. So we got a couple more people that we can knock out on the beach. I mean, it is nice. Um, having Blaine fight some of these weaker trainers just because um, Blaine's moveset is so terrible for kind of like it's the first part of its existence. I think the Zigzagoo knows Surf, if I'm not mistaken, which is fun. Does it? No, I don't. It, it might still, but it didn't use it. Because um, I know uh, there's a Zigzagoon in the 
uh, Marvel City Gym, I think, that has Thunderbolt, which is fun. Um, and a very strong move for this point in the game. Just not, like, broken strong for a Zigzagoon. Um, let's see. We can fight this fella. I've laid anchors and ports all around, but slate port's the best. That's probably not how he talks. That was more like a gentlemanly voice. <laughs> It is very sad kind of having to rely on Fury Attack, especially because you don't know how long it's going to hit. And I hate that it can miss. Um, I, I think I've talked a little bit about Crystal Legacy, which is like um, a Crystal ROM hack that makes some like improvements, um, but kind of still maintains the sanctity of what made the original um, itself, basically. Um, and they made it so that Fury Attack can't miss. Uh, let's see. Oh, I sounded like the ghoul from the Fallout show. I actually haven't, I haven't seen the Fallout show. I also haven't played the game. I do know that it is actually pretty well regarded, which is happy. So, here is the Seashore House, which is a cute little spot. Um, and... If you defeat all three trainers in here, you can talk to that head honcho there in front, and he will give you a six-pack of soda pop, which is delightful. It's a lot like a super potion. Um, so good, you say, Tech. Very cool. I mean, hey, that is that is what I've been hearing. Um, I know for a long time, kind of like, oh, I hate to see Charm on Blaine. That's really annoying. Oh, my gosh. The double miss. Um, but sorry. I was I was saying, uh, regarding video game adaptations, I feel like they were kind of viewed as something that you never dare do in Hollywood. Um, but now they're getting to the point where um, it's something... More and more of them are becoming successful. Like... The Mario Brothers movie was about as successful as a movie can be. I still haven't seen it, actually. I would like to. Um, but, uh, and, like, Detective Pikachu was, like, like a, a moderate success. I really liked Detective Pikachu. I was just happy that it existed at all. <laughs> I was just like, a live-action Pokemon movie. I've always wanted to see a live-action Pokemon movie. And it was pretty good. I liked it. Um... Oh, yeah, okay, this one is super accurate. Very good to know. Um, oh, I feel like there was... Oh, Last of Us. Yeah, Last of Us is another video game adaptation that, like, really popped off. But, I mean, Last of Us is kind of like... I have not played it, but I know kind of like its style is like that of a movie that you play, basically. Um, or at least the story is very much... It's very story-driven, I should say. Um, I shouldn't speak too much on the gameplay itself, seeing as I haven't played it, but um, I do know that it's very led by it, led by its story, and really lends itself to an adaptation. Um, I would, I, The Last of Us is on my list of games to play, even though it'll scare me. <laughs> oh, I really do want to play it. Because it's like, at this point, it's kind of one of those modern classics. It's a lot like Breath of the Wild. That's kind of why I got um, started with Breath of the Wild. Um, and I'm really excited to finish that. I know I'll have a lot more time here in the summer. Which is something that I say. <laughs> it's, just, it's just so hard sometimes. Um... Because a lot of the gameplay loop of Breath of the Wild is very much like... You're just kind of like exploring. You could pick it up, put it down. Um, but then, with some of these RPGs, you really get into like that nitty-gritty story stuff. Um, and you really want to pay attention. And a lot of times, I'm like with my wife when I'm playing. And sometimes we're watching something at the same time. Um, and whenever I'm playing those like story-driven RPGs, I really want to be locked in. Um, that's kind of how I've always been. Um, oh, you couldn't get past the first clicker encounter? Was it, like, difficult, or was it just, like, scary? <laughs> okay, so now that we've defeated the three trainers in the shore house here, it says, you're scorching hot, those battles blaze. I'm more than just satisfied. It's thanks for showing me your hot streak. I want you to take these. It's a half dozen bottles of soda pop. 
So yeah, these are super, uh, super great. Uh, they're always nice to have on hand. They're like super potions. Both. <laughs> Hard and too scary. <laughs> That's funny. I'll have to give it a try. Um, I really, really will. I remember... I know it probably won't be like this, but when I uh, first moved to LA, I didn't play it, but my roommate played a Walking Dead game. I think it was for like the Xbox. I don't even know what it would have been at that point. 360? Um, and it was almost like, a, it was kind of like a choose your own adventure game. Like it wasn't very gameplay heavy. Um, there was just like some sneaking and um, stuff like that. Um, I will hop on cycling roads so that way I don't have to use a repel. Oh yeah. Ugh. Okay, happy now? All right. Yes. And this is kind of like the trick with mock bike. I'm doing pretty good right now, except for that one. Yeah, he only rates you when you go down. Um, let, Telltale Games, yes. Oh, they did a Batman and Borderlands spinoffs. Oh, that's cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, I really did enjoy that, um, that Walking Dead game. I, re I really, it was, it was a cool experience, even just watching it. Um, and I feel like that kind of, uh, you know, sparked a love for watching video games, you know. Because I love playing games, I love having them on in the background. Because honestly, when I started this endeavor, I always will have, I will have like some streams and stuff on in the background all the time. Or just like regular YouTube videos on in the background all the time. Um... And I was just like, you know what? If I can be someone's background while they're cooking or doing whatever, um, I'd be happy to be that <laughs> for somebody. Okay, we're going back up the cable car. Let's see if we see the hiker. Still no hiker. I'm starting to think it's just a rumor. I know it's not a rumor. I know there's, I've seen footage out there of people seeing the hiker. Um, I'll just pick up a lava cookie while I'm passing the grandma. All right, so now I'll fight some of these trainers that we skipped on Jagged Pass. Um, you've seen them before, Tech. Oh, that's cool. Um, I never have, never have. And my goodness, have I played this game so many times. The jaggedness of, of Jagged Pass rocks your soul. Also, a really good detail about Jagged Pass here. A couple of times, dang! Wow, that's cool. A couple good details about Jagged Pass, or one anyway, is when you first exit Mount Chimney, the ash is falling down like it does on the route uh, on the way to Fallerbore Town. Um... But as you descend further down Jagged Pass, uh, the ash stops. But let's see. This actually, I'm kind of afraid of this because I know that Geodude can carry magnitude. Um, and that is four times super effective on my boy, Ron. So we'll just get Piccolo in here, my resident rock killer. ba -doo. I can't believe you've seen the hiker more than once. That's so cool. Um, let's see. Baltoy. Yeah, we'll just go back to Ron. He can take some psychic moves well. Because I don't think a Baltoy at this point has a ground move. Baltoy is a psychic ground type. I don't I actually don't know if I said that last time uh, we saw one. I know it's kind of... It's based on, like a clay doll that I think was like maybe from ancient Japan or something like that. Um, I know that's kind of like the origin of Baltoy and its evolution. Please just hit. Thank you. <laughs> Great. Um, they're actually pretty cool Pokemon. I considered using one in our playthrough. Ooh, takedown. This is actually nice. I don't usually like to use takedown. Um, I'll get rid of iron defense. We're never going to 
Um, I don't usually like to use takedown and double edge because of the recoil damage, but our boy Ron here has Rockhead, which makes it so that he does not take recoil damage. I don't know if it's the most useful ability, like consistently, but it'll be nice to not take damage on takedowns. Alright, so we're going to fight this lady. I'm going to leave that Magma Grunt alone for now. Um, boop, 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 boop. Actually, maybe I'll fight him. I don't know. I'm indecisive, guys. Ah, uh, shrooms. Oh, dang it. I could have sworn I swapped to freaking uh, Blaine to start this fight. I was so excited. Okay. All right, other than the paralysis, we're still sitting pretty, though, so that's fine. I want to say she's got... Okay, she's got more grass types. A lot of these picnickers often do. Picnickers or like rangers, like park ranger trainer class will often have grass types, which makes sense. Hate to see stun spore on absolutely everything. <laughs> That's okay, yeah. Some of, some of these fights I'm super okay speeding through. Um, oh, a Swablu! How about that? We'll get Guzzle out for that. There we go. Oops. Oh, Sing. That is annoying. So now we just kind of got to wait to wake up. Oh my gosh, you found a shiny Oddish in Pokemon Go yesterday? Tech, you are full of all of the the rare encounters. Actually, I don't know, how rare are shinies in Pokemon Go? I've never really been a Pokemon Go player. Um, I downloaded it when it first came out. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll go ahead and fight this guy. Um, oh, same as normal games. Oh, okay, so nothing too crazy. I think, yeah, we have some paralyzed seals. Ah, oh, yes, Blaine, that clutch. Natural cure, baby. All right, so... We'll get you going. I'm gonna get Guzzle up here for the double battle. Great. So this person is... What are you doing here? What am I doing in a place like this? What business is, is it of yours? Um, so... This Team Magma Grunt is guarding this spot. We don't really know why. Um, <laughs> if you remember our Generation 1 playthrough... Oh, he's actually got some level 20 Pokemon here. Um, if you remember our Generation 1 playthrough, that rocket is guarding the poster <laughs> um, that leads to the secret hideout in Saladon City. Ugh, oh, 5 would have been lovely. Um, and you can immediately go in there. I, uh, I wonder what this what this grunt is guarding. We're actually not going to be able to see it until later. But uh, just keep that in the back of, your, back of your noggin. Back of your noggin. It is lovely that we can escape the magnitude tens of this Nummel. Should it have one. Let's see. <laughs> no secret button on the cliff. It's true. Um... We're gonna have to uncover the secrets another way. That is annoying, but again, we've got natural cure. Let's just go out to Piccolo. There we go. Some bullet seeds will do the trick. That ground type will make it neutral. Even though if this hits twice, I'll be really annoyed. Yep. I'm annoyed! Ugh. That'll clean it up. Yeah, Grovile at this point in the game, it's really hurting for a new move. And I've talked about Grovile getting a new move, I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. What does he say now? Okay, okay, I admit it. You're strong. Don't worry about me. Go wherever you want. Okay. Um, so yeah, I was saying Grovile will get another move soon, but it is at level 20 nine um so we're still a little ways away i'm waiting with bated breath so now we got this double battle here on jagged pass and then we'll be able to uh 
make our way to the gym and check out uh, what's going on there. I don't know if we'll be able to fight uh, the gym leader tonight. Maybe. Um, we still got some time. We still got some time. Um, oh, this is nice. Got a nice super effective matchup for each. I love that. When you send out the exact correct Pokemon for a double battle, it just feels so great. Just feels so great. Fight the hot gym leader. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the next gym leader is a fire type gym leader. And she is, you know, she is portrayed as an attractive person. Da 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 da. I actually saw a YouTube video a while back that was like, <laughs> we are going to uh, rate, rate the hotness of every non-child character <laughs> in the Pokemon franchise. They're just like, they must be canonically adults for us to say if they're hot or not, <laughs> which I support wholeheartedly. Uh, yes, of course you meant fire. Of course you did. Um, I hope I hope our egg can hatch at some point soon. We kind of went on that journey journey all the way down to Slateport City. Let's see, what does it say? Oh, we'll take some time. All right. So we still got some time. I feel like it is kind of more of a. Um, depending on what the Pokemon is, if it's, like, rarer, it will take more steps to hatch the egg. Um, I don't know if Why Not is one of those Pokemon or not. I'm actually going to just sell this Paralyzed Hill Heal, because we have some Lava Cookies, we have some Full Heals. We're, we're, we're sitting pretty. I'll sell the Burn Heal as well. Actually, you know what? I'll keep it. We're about to go into the Fire Gym. I'll sell the Guard Spec, of course, just because I never use those. And I did want to pick up a few more super potions. And how about, ooh, I can get some revives. That's actually really nice. Um, I think I only have, yes, I only have two. I will pick up eight. Let's not mess around. Um, great balls. Yeah, we're doing all right on Pokeballs. We don't have that many more captures to make. Um, all right. So with that nice little Mart sesh, I'm going to save because I have anxiety. All right, I actually don't know if I've shown off the trainer card in this game. It looks like this. It's really nice, very clean. All the badges show up there on the bottom. I do miss how it used to have the gym leader's faces on it. Um, but it looks really great, and it's green for Pokemon Emerald. Can you believe it? And it flips on the back. I think you can have, like, your friends sign the trainer card. I think that's kind of, like, the deal. Um, or, like, if you do some achievements in the game, um, it'll say on the back of your trainer card. Okay, so here, there is actually the gym leader there at the top of the screen. We can't see her. If I pop over here, we should be able to. So there she is. There's her badge behind her. We can't get to her yet, though. We have to go through her gym traps. And you're, like falling through sand and falling up sand. Um, there's like two levels to this gym. It's very interesting. Um, I know some, there are double battles in some places. This might be one. This seems like prime. Yes. And um, as you go up to each little circle, there could be a trainer in there. Um, as we have just encountered. Um, here we got classic Slugma Nummel. Slugma and Nummel and Torkoal are kind of like the mascots for this gym. Let's see. I'm actually going to double into Nummel because I don't want to take any fear attacks. Killing me, man. I don't want to take any uh, magnitudes to Torkoal. All right. I feel like let's do that. There we go. Dude, I am about done with Fury Attack. This thing is killing me, man. I hate it. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> All right, I'll just peck you dead then. There we go. Um, 
I was the one that wanted to use a swablu. What can you do? Ah, yes, the white smoke. Hooray. There we go. That'll knock that out. Ah, level 24. I actually don't remember when Swablu evolves. When does Swablu evolve, Tech? Is it like 33? That seems right to me, but I don't really know. Um, so yes, I'm going to, I'm going to try to fight all the trainers in this gym. Um, just because, oh yeah, that takes me nowhere. Um, because, you know, I always like to do that because you can't rematch them. I think there's a special area down here that I missed. Yes, I think there's a trainer. Yes, right there. I am almost positive I remember where all the trainers are in this game. Um, in this gym, rather. Um, and the gym puzzle is the same in Ruby and Sapphire. I think it's laid out differently, but I think the puzzle itself is the same. Level 35. Thank you, Tech. I was close. I knew we were going to get poison. I just absolutely knew it. All right, let's see if we can get some Fury Attack luck. All right, at least it hit. All right, not too terrible. Better than two. So yeah, level 35 cannot come soon enough for our boy Blaine. But we will be able to get uh, some better moves as we go along. Yeah, dude, Fury Attack is terrible. Yes, I was just saying how um, in, whatchamacallit, uh, Crystal Legacy, uh, the ROM hack, they made Fury Attack so it has 100% accuracy. So it's still not like a great move, but at least it's not like horrendous, you know? Um, let's see here. I might take the Macho Brace off Ron because I am just sick and tired of being slower than absolutely everything. <laughs> I'll still hold on to the Macho Brace, of course. There we go. Kindle Jeff. And as we know, that poison will be healed off of Swablu. Uh, let's see. They should have just done that in the normal games, dude. You are, you are freaking telling me. Oh, what was I going to do? Oh, yes, I was going to take off the Macho Brace. There we go. And I'll just get a Super Potion. There we go. Alright, let's continue. I'll probably pop out at some point to heal the squad before we reach the end of this gym here. Um, okay. Oh! Yes, and this shoots you right into another double battle. Um, yeah, I mean, he's still slow. It's definitely true. Um, I should put the Macho Brace on Torkoal, honestly, because Torkoal, I think, is, like, one of the slowest Pokemon in the game. Oh, and as you can see, this is Kecleon. Kecleon's a very interesting Pokemon that we may or may not see later in the game. Um, and it has a very cool... Ability. I'm actually going to try to put it to sleep, because this Kecleon has Flamethrower. Um, what happens with Kecleon is any time... It's a normal type Pokemon, and it's a chameleon, so it has a very special ability that if you hit it with a move, it will become the type of the move that you just hit it with. So I'm about to hit it with Body Slam, so nothing's actually going to happen. Um, so let me try... I'm going to hit it with a Peck. So if I hit it with the flying type Peck, Kecleon, the color change made it the flying type. So anytime you hit it with a move, it will become the type of the move you just hit it with, which is super cool. Um, and you and something that you can like use to your advantage. Um, if like, let's say, I don't know, let's say Swablu, it would never have a grass move, but let's say Swablu had a grass move. You could use that on your Kecleon, and then your Torkoal could use a fire move, because then it would be super effective. Very cool. Um, yes, Torkoal does not have any evolutions. You are correct. Um, I'm actually going to swap Blaine out so we can get rid of that burn. Look at Ziggy in here. Why not? We're having a fun time. Um, so I will absolutely put it on Guzzle. Oh, this is probably going to kill Ziggy, right? <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, Magnitude 7 still has some juice. Oh, 
Oh, wow! Wow, the Nummel knew to use magnitude because now that Kecleon's flying type, it won't affect it. How cool. That's actually a really good strategy, dude. That was crazy. Um, pro plays by the NPC. That was awesome. Let's see. All right, we should just be able to take out this, this fella now. <laughs> We're having fun immediately, guys. It's so true. And there goes the Kecleon. Yeah, Kecleon can't make, like, great use of Flamethrower. It's kind of like how I described with the Zigzagoon earlier. Knowing Thunderbolt. But you don't want to mess around. Don't want to mess around. You don't want to find out, you know? Um, let's see. I know... Yes. I'm literally kind of, like, trying to find the trainers at this point, you know? Um... Let's see. I feel like Blaine has had a tendency of really getting status lately. I was waiting for the burn there. Dude, the Fury Attack. The Fury Attack. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here! Um. Oh yeah, gotta get all the XP. Um. I love how the shorthand for experience is XP. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a nice paralysis, though. That'll help us out speed. Yeah, Ember is absolutely terrible against a Nummel, but when it only has one hit point left, it'll do the trick. Um, Kindler Axles done. Great. Oh, yes, let me put that Macho Brace on. Torkoal. There you go, sir. Ah, oh, Ziggy's got an item. Excuse me, what you got, Ziggy? Antidote. Lovely. I think we've gotten, like, a ton of antidotes from Ziggy. Um, using all these super potions that I bought on Blaine right now. But sometimes it's just more... Sometimes you just don't want to go all the way back. Um, -da 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 I'm pretty certain this guy is the last trainer in this gym. Um, he just got the slug, huh? Literally anything over two, I will take it. As long as it hits and hits over two, I'm like pretty happy with Fury Attack. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay, good. Love to see the Smog miss. Smog has a Smog is a very terrible move, but it does have a very high chance of poisoning. Better than no hits. That's so true. It's very true. All right, so we're gonna pop over here. Oh wait, no, we still got one more little couple more little rooms here I just went for it you know oh this is great we can finally get some super effective pecs going here I don't remember um detect is always very annoying <laughs> gorgeous <laughs> thanks JJ <laughs> um yes um, this is actually funny, because I'm pretty sure there is a Thunder... Yeah, there's a Thunder Punch Metatite in Watson's Gym. There's the Fire Punch Metatite here and a Thunder Punch one in uh, Watson's Gym. Too bad there's not a not an Ice Gym in this gen. Um, voice of an Angel, thank you. <laughs> um, guys, come on with the confusion! We got confused on confusion. That's, like, kind of rare to happen. Please just take it out. Pardon you. Oh, bye. I'd love to see that. Okay, good. We good. We good. We good. I'm pretty sure that's the last trainer in here. But I said that last time, so who knows? What? It's a 20% chance? I thought it was less than that. That's crazy. Um, so I'm pretty sure that leads to nowhere. And then, yes. This, you gotta go to the left or to the right? And I don't remember, so I'm gonna go left. You wanna go to the right. 
But that's okay. I wanted to go out of the gym anyway and, and heal. So make sure you remind me that we go to the right. So I'm going to give the, sw uh, the squad... Oh, it's 10%. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm going to give the squad a healing. And then we are going to give Flannery a try. Um, we have fought just about all the trainers that we can. I think there are a few more we can go out to, but I don't really want to go out to them. Um, so let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, NPCs are always going to hit that 10% chance. You're right, Tech. Um, so yeah, as you can see, once you uncover the trainers, they just kind of hang out. Um, and we got a couple here. Just working our way back up. I love how the sand, like, fires you back up through the floor. Um, <laughs> really take off. We got to go to the right. So as you can see, that one would have taken us over here to where it which leads to nothing. But this little guy leads to our girl. Okay, so geyser. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, in the remakes, they make it more like a geyser. Um, but in this game, it's like hot sand. Um, okay, so we're gonna give Flannery a try. I don't know how this is going to go. It could go quite poorly. Um, I don't remember what she starts with. I'm pretty sure it's a Slugma. Or maybe it's a Nummel. Mm, I don't remember. Um, let's see. Welcome. No, wait. Puny trainer. How good to see you've made it here. I have been entrusted with the... Ugh, no, wait. I am Flannery, and I'm the gym leader here. Uh, dare not underestimate me, though. I have been leader only a short time. So she's, like, finding her confidence, which is a nice little uh, thing for her. Uh, she inherited skills from her grandfather. Ooh, how about that? So she's new on the scene. Uh, here we have Flannery and her famous uh, crop top. Um... And she does indeed start with the Nummel. So I started <laughs> with the wrong Pokemon. That's not great. But I'm going to try a Mud Slap. This magnitude will probably kill me, though. Um, <laughs> boobs. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So I'm glad that magnitude did not kill me. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to swap into Blaine and hopefully get hopefully get a swap um, into a magnitude. Of course. So this is overheat. This is a signature move from of this gym. It is a really strong fire type move, um, but the trade-off is that it will harshly lower your special attack, which lowers your special attack two stages. So she can use that to great effect in this gym. Um, her Numble is not going to be one of the better users of that move. Um, but some of her other Pokemon are going to be pretty scary, especially um, with the sunny day up here. Um, so something I might try to do is I'm going to try to get this Numble to go to sleep. Yes. Guys, I'm knocking on wood. I don't think Blaine has missed a sing yet. Um... It has been crazy good luck there. Um, okay. So, my strategy here... I am actually going to go into Piccolo. Because I'm hoping Nummel stays asleep. It didn't. <laughs> um, but it does have its special, at special attack lowered. And... Like I've kind of said before, Bullet Seed... Um, can hit Nummel for neutral damage because it's a ground type. And Bullet Seed is pretty unreliable like Fury Attack. However, it does have that 100% accuracy. Please don't kill me. It did. I think the sun is what did that. So we are struggling with her first Pokemon. So that's not a good sign. Um, however, I think if we just go into Guzzle, we're going to have a decent time. Um, let's see. Uh, that's tough, man. <laughs> she has three more Pokemon. We are not doing good. <laughs> Let's see. 
let's see. All right, now she's got a Slugma. This is kind of what I was going into Ron for at the beginning. Um, Slugma's also very slow, so I'm hoping that we can get a Mud Slap off. Yes, we can. Oh, also her Numb will miss no attacks. I lowered its accuracy. That's some bull crap. Oh, good. Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can win with some Mud Slap cheese here. Ooh, nice critical hit. Great. In uh, awesome. In Ruby and Sapphire, she only has three Pokemon, um, but in this game, she's got four. I think in Ruby and Sapphire, she just has two Slugmas, and spoiler spoiler alert, her ace is her Torkoal. Um, and it's actually quite tough. Her Torkoal's pretty good. Um, quite good, actually. Um, so we might have to do some... Okay. We can only avoid it for so long. I am happy that we were able to waste one of her super potions. And I think our guzzle here is going to be our saving grace. So one thing I will do is I'll actually use this turn to Super Potion. Oh, do not poison me. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Okay, good. <laughs> that was going to make me mad. All right. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, we still have the Macho Brace on. I forgot about that. Um, so we are, with 100% certainty, going to be slower than her Torque. And that's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. Um, okay, camera up. Um, this is not great because it's going to have that super effective magnitude, much like the Numble did. Um, but... I wish camera up was a better Pokemon because it is pretty cool. Guys... We're hitting the Sings, baby. I really hope we can hit the Sing on the Torkoal. <laughs> I'm really counting on it. Overheat, yeah, I know, dude. Um, let's see. So let's go into Guzzle here. Oh, yes. If we lose this battle, I need to swap out the Egg. Uh, because just having another Pokemon to go into with Fudge Cake, even if he can't do much, is going to be crazy helpful. Oh, guys. Guys. I got a plan. I got a plan. Because our, our our gal Guzzle here is already super slow. And Curse will lower her speed, but raise her attack and defense. Ah, dang it. I was really hoping I could, like, really set up on the camera. up, But we do have two, uh, two nice Curses here. Um, so hopefully that will help us live a... Um, magnitude if it's got a if it gets a good one but judging by her use of tackle here I don't know if she has um, okay sunny day so now definitely what I'm gonna want to do is try to kind of stall out this sunny day with some of these curses yeah dude I just realized that I had to move had the move curse this is actually this could actually be really good for us so what I want to do, if it's just going to use Tackle, that's fine. If I can stall out the Sunny Day, so that way when the Torkoal comes out, um, it goes away, that will be ideal. Um, because even though our gal Guzzle here will resist Torkoal's, um, whatchamacallit, overheats, it's still going to do a ton of damage. Um, and... All right, something I might do before I knock out the camera up is just get a super potion. <coughs> Excuse me. Awesome. Okay. So we are doing great. I actually don't know when the fire is going to run it, or when the sun is going to run it out. All right, tackle, that is fine. We got all those defense... Uh, defense buffs. Okay, cool. So now we are in pretty... If the sunlight fades, that would be awesome. Good level on Blaine. It's about to use Torkoal. I will not switch because we don't want to lose all those buffs. Sunlight fade. Come on. Yes! Oh, that's great. Um, but Torkoal actually has a really good item. 
on it. It has an item. Oh, it has Sunny Day anyway. But it had to waste a turn setting it up. That's great. It has a really good item called the White Herb that we might see. Let's see how much this does. Okay, that's good. Um, and what the White Herb does is that it will uh, basically heal the stat drop that it gets from using Overheat, and that's why it's really good. Okay, I'm, so, I'm really glad that it's not trying to use Overheat because that Body Slam, as you can see, did nothing. Nothing, son. Oh, baby. I think she's going to use a Super Potion here, but it is nice that we got the Paralysis. Um, yeah, absolutely. Oh, a Hyper Potion, so she's healing all the way. I'm hoping that we can get a critical hit here. Um... Okay, that looked like a high roll. I'm hoping that we can knock it out in one more body slam. These curses have been absolutely clutch. Come on. Yeah, baby. Oh, that's awesome. The curse Torkoal. Let's go. Oh, that was so great. Oh, I guess I was trying too hard. And things were not looking good for us, gang. Thank you, Tech. Oh, that was great. Um, uh, she has to do things her natural way. Oh, our battle taught her that. How lovely. Thanks for teaching me that. For you, uh, for that, you deserve this. The Heat Badge. It has that really cool flame design. I actually really like the design of this badge. All natural. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> uh, if you have a Heat Badge, all Pokemon level 50 uh, will obey you. Very nice. Ah, yes, and we can actually use the move Strength. Oh, that's actually good to know because we can hop into the Fiery Path and we can get some pretty good items in there using Strength. And she gives us the TM for Overheat, which is delightful. Um, lovely. Um, well, folks, this has been great. Uh, I loved getting to fight Flannery here at the very end. That was a really nice battle. Uh, really nice to use a fun strategy like Curse on Torkoal like that. Um, but thanks for showing out for the later at night stream. It's been super fun. And I will see you all next time. I don't know when. Probably Wednesday. But uh, with that, have a great Memorial Day. Have a great week. Have a great life. And uh, catch you next time too, dude. Peace out.